Over the years of helping out thousands of men all over the world, one of the top things I constantly hear them talk about is I get girls, just not the ones I'm excited about. And for the hardest time, and for the longest time, I had a hard time figuring out what that meant. Because if you know me personally, you know my standards for beauty are really freaking high. I've had my friends go on my Hinge account and they're like, bro, yeah, that girl's cute, X. Oh, bro, that girl's cute, I hit the X. They're like, bro, what the hell? Like, these girls are cute and you're hitting the X. For me, my beauty standard is if you don't make me go, oh shit, I don't want you. And for a lot of guys out there, it's hey, as long as she's not fat, I guess we'll do it. And for some guys, it's worse. As, as long as she's down, then I'll do it. So in this video, I want to give you a step-by-step -step process you can do so you can actually start sleeping, dating, building relationships with girls that you are actually excited about. Let's get into it. The first step I can give you is have some discernment. Discernment pretty much means being able to judge. Now, let's look at how women do the dating thing. For the most part, women on average are liking one out of every 16 profiles. Okay, so they're basically saying no to the majority of men. Now, am I saying to you, say no to the majority of women? No. What I'm really trying to get to is, when you look at this girl, okay, ask yourself, would I, am I excited about this girl? If the answer is no, why would you potentially spend your money on a date and then potentially not even see this girl again after the first date, right? So look at this girl on a dating app or, you know, on the street. Does this girl make me someone excited? Yes. Then let's do it. Stop just letting any girl that gives you a slither of attention, you take her to the bedroom. Stop it with that. So one drill I can have you do right now is ask yourself, what do you place yourself out of 10? Now, this can get scary because if you say you're an eight or a nine, but you've never been with any girl who is an eight or a nine, lower buddy, go lower, it's okay. I would rank myself a seven to a 7.5, right? So most guys, like really handsome guys, get like 8.2s and 8.3s. Nine is like you're on the cover of Vogue and most guys aren't 10 out of 10. So let's just say nine is the maxed out number. Eight is like really handsome. Seven is you're, you're, you know, you're pretty handsome. The reason why I'm, at, I'm having you do this is because take your looks number and go one point below and that's the lowest you're going to go. Yep, that's your new metric. If you consider yourself a five or a six, right? Say, let's say five, you're average looking. You're not super tall. You have no crazy jaw. And I know like elegant features. You're a five out of 10, that's fine. You are only gonna date or have sex with a four, a five or a six and up. That's your new rule. And if you implement that, there's no way you'll be able to date girls you're not excited about because these girls are all within your looks level, right? So that's what you're gonna do from now on. Now that you know your look score, Ask yourself this question. Have you ever been on a date with a girl you're not excited about? Because I'm gonna give you guys a quick little black pill. I'm sorry to, you know, to have, have to give it to you this way. But when you say excited about, what do you mean? Because if you say excited about like, as in like a girl who looks like Summer Rae or like Chantel Jeffries or any of these like top level 1% Instagram models in LA, well, Bro, I barely get girls like that. <laughs> so my point is, make sure you don't have unrealistic expectations. Because some of you, when you mean excited about, you're talking like a nine or a 10. And most guys will never know what it's like to have a nine or a 10. So make sure you're not shooting for the complete stars. If you want to, go ahead. I can't stop you. I'm just trying to help guys out who consistently have this thing where it's like they're not satisfied with the girls they're with. I'm a seven, 7.5. I'll gladly go on a date with a girl that's a six, a seven, or an eight. That's my zone and I have no problems with that. If you start practicing this ideology of your attractiveness is here, you date within your own, one down and you know, above, then you should never have this mentality where you're sleeping with girls you never like ever again because every girl is relatively 
in your attraction level. The second thing I can say to make sure this happens is put yourself on timeout, bro. That's right, put yourself on time out. If you're at a bar or a club and that torta, that big girl walks up to you, you're really cute. You're gonna say, thanks, but no thanks, torta, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? If that torta girl, Lizzo built girl, likes you on hinge, you're not gonna say, well, it has been lonely. You know, you're not. You're not gonna accept anything within your standards because what happens is, for some of you guys, dating girls below, like way below your looks level is almost a part of your lifestyle at this point. So it may take a freaking go into an AA meeting, like my name is John and I'm addicted to big girls. Now mind you, if big girls is your type, that's not, that's not the point of this video. The point of the video is guys who are unhappy with the girls that they're getting. So if your type happens to be bigger girls, bro, knock yourself out. There's plenty of them, have fun, go crazy, bro. I'm just saying is there's plenty of guys out there who are dating girls way below their looks level and they're not happy about it. So you're gonna have to start saying no, man. Put yourself on timeout with the dating apps, with approaching, them approaching you, right? Just make sure you have discernment and you're saying no. I don't wanna be with these type of girls because I'm trying to level up and get to a point where I can start dating women I'm excited about. The last tip I can give you, and this is probably the more practical advice. Bro, you gotta looks max. Like I really think upping yourself in the sexual marketplace with your looks will unlock new women. So the first thing I can um, tell you to do that's pretty basic is to lose weight. If you were to get down to 13, 12, 11, right, that's good, but 10%, bro, that's crazy. Like that's when you're damn near about to hop on stage and bodybuild. But if you can get down to like that 13, 12, 11, and then 10, that's when your face structure will show through You'll, be, you'll look more vascular, right? You'll look better in clothes. That's the first step. If you're pushing 17, 18, 19% body fat, no, bro, of course you're attracting Thortha because you're a Thortha. You know what I'm saying? So first step is just drop the weight, bring it down, buy yourself a scale so you can check your body fat percentage and check that daily and see where you're at. So you can get down to that 13, 12, 11. It's a lot better down there. Number two is, this is my favorite. All of you have the potential to look like a celebrity of some sort. Whether it's a popular influencer, a movie star, an athlete, a rapper, there's somebody in your ethnicity that is sexualized, like women really like this person. So for example, I was on the phone the other day with a guy who was white boy, he had like blue green eyes, he had like brown facial hair and curly hair. I said, bro, do you know who Benson Boone is? He said, no, bro. He is being very sexualized right now by the, by the ladies. If you pull off this look, you will get more attention. He's like, okay, bet. And he did, he looks great. So what I'm saying is find a celebrity, influencer, rapper, entertainer, whatever, and model after that look. Cause that look is already being sexualized. So you'll get more attention by looking like somebody who's already sexualized. In some cases a girl goes, hey, I can't have Benson Boone, but I can have this guy who looks just like him. You know what I mean? So after you did all that, now let's get into fashion. To me, fashion is almost like a cherry on top. Let's be real. If you're at good muscle mass, you can legit rock a white tee, blue jeans, and some Converse and look better than most people. Let's just be real, you can, because your body's so, you know, it's already kind of doing the work for you. And I've seen it. I've seen some of my guys rock nothing but blank tees and cowboy denim type of jeans, and they get all the girls. What I'm saying is you want to add another layer on top, look up hashtag men's fashion on Instagram and find a style that you can relate to and you like and just copy, just copy. That's what I do. And I've always been told on dates how I dress and guys, it's nothing crazy. It's just, I have a low body fat percentage and I just match colors up and it looks good. The next thing is teeth. Listen, there's all different types of ways to fix them, whether it be white strips or getting Invisalign. But if you were to do all those things, dog, bro, you're gonna have so much more success. Because listen, the black pill of, of this world is sometimes, you, you, you just need to look better, okay? If you looked better, you'd be able to be with girls you're more excited about. If you're a three out of 10, Obviously, it's hard to date girls who are a six, a seven, and an eight. But if you raise yourself from a three to a five, okay, now we're talking. So I had to definitely throw in looks because it, 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 it's a part of it. 
it's definitely a part of if you want to get more attractive girls okay just look a bit better because when you cold approach or send that dm on instagram she's like oh he's cute right you may not get to show off your personality to the day of the date but at least from a physical standpoint she saw your instagram dm she saw your hinge like and she was like yo this guy's hot let's connect so hopefully you guys found this video um, helpful i think the biggest thing is to of course get your body fat percentage down and you know dress a bit better get your teeth white but i think the one of the biggest things man is have discernment like us as men right we for the most part pursue sex that means we're the ones who go after it therefore we can choose instead of going to the torta let's just push it over to a girl that we're actually excited about excited to get to know excited to show our homeboys hey look who i'm going on a date with right so discernment get yourself down to a good body fat percentage and you should see a rise and happiness in your dating life because you're finally out with girls that you find attractive hopefully you guys found some value in this video and if you did definitely check out my group coaching community on discord we have live calls every single monday and i'd love to have you on the next one talk to you guys soon peace